Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, magre-review tayo on how to subtract a whole number and a fraction. So ito yung mga common water loss ng mga bata, yung pagbabarrow sa whole number and making a fraction out of a whole number. So our first example is 3 minus 4 fifths. So we have here a whole number 3 and the fraction 4 fifths. So, ano yung una natin gagawin? We need to borrow 1 from 3 and make that 1 a fraction. So, hehanam tayo ng isa dito sa number 3 na to at yung isa ay gagawin nating fraction. Okay? Para makapag-subtract tayo at mabawas natin si 4 over 5. So, si 3, babawasan ng isa. So, magiging 2 na lang si 3. Saan natin dadalhin yung isa? So, yung isa, gagawin natin siyang fraction that is equivalent to 1. Okay? So, mag-iisip tayo ng isang fraction na magkapareho ang numerator and denominator. Okay? So, para hindi na tayo mahirapan, ano kayang fraction yung pipiliin natin? Tingnan natin yung ating given dito. Ang given natin ay 4 fifths. Okay? So, tandaan, para makapag-subtract ng fractions, kailangan pareho ang denominators nila. So, para hindi na tayo kukuha ng LCD, kung ano yung denominator ng ating given fraction, yan na rin yung gagamitin natin na new form of fraction para kay 1. So, gagamitin natin si denominator na 5 to create a fraction that is equivalent to 1. So, 5 over 5, that is equivalent to 1 whole. So, si 1 whole na nanggaling kay 3 ay ginawa natin 5 over 5. So, si 3 ngayon ay isa ng mixed number na 2 and 5 over 5. Now, we can now proceed to subtraction. Copy natin si 4 fifths. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating set of uh, fraction. So, meron tayong mixed number na 2 and 5 over 5 minus 4 fifths. So, si 2, wala naman tayong ibabawas kay 2. So, copy natin si 2. Okay, so following the rules in subtraction of fractions, if the fractions are similar, copy the denominators or the denominator and then subtract the numerators. 5 minus 4. So, our final answer here is 2. Copy natin si 2. What is 5 minus 4? That is 1. All over, anong denominator? 5. So, ang ating fraction ngayon dito, or ang ating answer sa 3 minus 4 fifths is 1 and, or 2 and 1 fifth. Let's proceed to our second example. So, we have very 12 minus 5 ninths. So, sa tingin nyo, Ano kaya yung magiging mixed number form ng ating 12 if we will borrow 1? Okay, from 12 and make it a fraction that is equivalent to 1. Okay, so bawasan natin si 12 ng isa, magiging 11. Okay, ano yung denominator ng ating given? So, 12 minus 5 ninths, this is 9. So, let's use 9 over 9, okay? to make 12 a mixed number. Okay? So, 9 over 9 is equivalent to 1. So, si 12 ngayon ay 11 and 9 ninths na. Minus 5 all over 9. Okay? So, dahil pareho sila ng denominator, we can now proceed to subtraction. So, meron ba tayong minus kay 11? Wala. Okay, and then, copy the denominator 9 dahil similar fractions and subtract 9 minus 5. So, 11. What is 9 minus 5? That is equivalent to 4. All over 9. Okay, so this is now our final answer. So, I hope na naman tayong bagong natutunan or na-recall para sa lesson natin today. So, sa bahay, mag-practice mga bata para lalong humusay sa larangan ng matematika. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all!